Tally-ho, flight nerds. This is Ben Johnson from FlightNerdAirForce.com. Uh, today, in today's video, we are talking about one instrument. It has two names, actually. You can call it the directional gyro or the heading indicator. Either one. I'm going to call it the DG from here on out, the directional gyro. Uh, it's the instrument that helps you know which direction you're flying. So if you don't want to get lost, if you want to be able to find your way to the airport that you're heading to, today's instrument is very important. Okay? Uh, and again, we're covering these things. You might be interested in flying real airplanes. You might be interested in getting your uh, pilot's license at some point, but maybe not. Maybe that's not you. Maybe you just want to learn to be involved in aviation. You really like aviation. You like the science behind it. It is super interesting to you. Maybe you want to play your flight simulator at home and you love that and you want to understand how to fly it well. Uh, this video is going to help you understand how to get to where you're going by understanding the directional gyro, the DG, or the heading indicator. Same instrument, two different names. Hope you enjoy the video. On the bottom center of our six pack of instruments, we have what is called the directional gyro or our heading indicator. Now, a couple of things are obvious in both of these titles. One is the heading indicator. It tells us what our heading is. Which direction are we heading? Now, it is, it is broken down into number of degrees uh, north being zero and 360 degrees at the same time. So it works a lot like a compass, not in the way that it functions mechanically, but in how it reads. So when you're heading directly north, you are heading at uh, 360 degrees, right? So if you're heading east, then you would be at 090 degrees. South is uh, 180 degrees and west is 270 degrees, uh, broken down in, in degrees, of course. Um, so we can find the direction that we're heading by looking at the number that is at the top of this instrument. Uh, right now we are showing a heading of north. Now what's really important, you, you hear I mentioned that mechanically it doesn't work like a compass and that is because the other name for it, the directional gyro, it is a gyroscope. So inside the instrument is a spinning gyroscope and what it does is it measures the change in direction of the airplane because of the forces being moved on the gyroscope inside the instrument. Um, so that means it is not technically linked directly to any sort of a map or any uh, compass heading or anything like that. It is strictly in relationship to the motion that has been, uh, the forces that have been uh, placed on it by the movement of the airplane. But what that means is sometimes we end up in a situation where this actually gets to be inaccurate. Uh, it, it, it moves a little bit. There's something called gyroscopic precession where uh, we are actually out of sync with the actual compass direction that we'll be heading. So it's important on this instrument that we can actually use this dial down here to change uh, the setting of our directional gyro or heading indicator. And we do that when we put the airplane in straight and level flight, unaccelerated flight. We're not speeding up. We're not slowing down. We're not turning left. We're not turning right. Straight and level, unaccelerated flight. We can then look up at our compass after it's had time to settle down and see what it says on the compass. And then we can match that up here for the most part with uh, this directional gyro. Uh, and this will help us do our turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the simulator here and I'm actually going to I'll go I'll turn uh, 90 degrees to the left and then 90 degrees to the right to get us back on a heading of north Just to show you how this works So here we go I'm gonna make my turn and I'm gonna make it a coordinated turn seeing as in our last video we talked about our turn coordinator so if, if we do 360 degree turn in two minutes how long should it take us to turn 90 degrees to the left. Can you do math that fast? It should have taken us about 30 seconds to get right about here. So now you see we're on a westerly heading, which is 270 degrees. And I'm going to take another, make another turn to the right. Try and keep that turn coordinated. And have us roll out on a heading of north. Again, making sure that when we need to every now and again, we just check our gyro to make sure that it is matching up with the 
compass, but only when we are in straight and level, unaccelerated. Well, I hope that video on the directional gyro or the heading indicator was very helpful for you. If you are trying to figure out which direction you're heading, whether you're using your heading indicator or you're just trying to figure out where to go in life, I've got a great video for you. It actually describes and it's called what it takes to get a private pilot's license. So if you're thinking that a direction for you in your life might be getting a private pilot's license, this would be a great video for you to go uh, and check out all the details.